morning, everybody. My name is Sandra. Thanks so much for joining me today. We are going to talk about quarter three goals for 2023, as well as goals for July. So again, I'm using my 2023 Power Sheets Goal Planner by Cultivate What Matters. And um, we'll take a little look here. So we're heading to July. We're not quite done June yet. So I have not done the um, month in review. It is only the 20th today, so we're not quite there. Um, but I guess we'll start with the quarterly refresh. So this kind of like explains how I feel the past three months have gone. and kind of gives like a new take on how I feel, I guess, going in the future. So for the very first one, um, I've changed community to friends because I don't really have a community that I associate with. I just have a few friends, a few good friends. So um, previously I put it as a five and then I moved it to a four because I haven't talked to my friend. I haven't communicated with her, haven't seen her in a while. Um, and it's been a goal of mine on my compass card for a while um, to get together at least. I mean, I comment on her Instagram, her Facebook and whatever, but it's not quite the same thing. Okay, family was previous seven. It is now a six because, um, yeah, the, the, this kind of was a reflection of when I did this, actually. So it happened last week. I was filming this last week. And um, my husband is still working in town, but he is on night shift. So we never see each other except on Sunday. He's working an extra day a week as well. So he works six days a week out of seven. And it's only the office Sunday, so he sleeps until 1.32, and then he stays up the entire night, but we go to bed by like 9.10, so we hardly see him at all. Um, it's only going to be temporary, so it's only going to be until the end of this month, until the end of June, potentially in the first week or two of July, we're not sure yet. The other thing that was super hard last week was my mom had her car break down on her. Her timing belt went on her car, so she did get it replaced, but she's going to be looking for a new car because the entire motor on this car is be it's going to be going. So, um, so it was really hard because I, not only did I have to pick her up if I wanted her to come here, I also had to drive her to two of her um, work appointments. And so it was really it was really, really tough. Um, and I had a rough week last week. Okay, finances, previous seven, now it's a five because we're struggling. I mean, we're always struggling, when are we not? So we actually have to pay our property taxes right away. That is going to be like on the 30th in 10 days. So I should probably do it this week so it clears um, in time for the 30th. And um, since Chad has been in town, we've been making quite a bit of less money than we did when he worked out of town. Still been spending more than we have, which is a problem. But the reason we've been spending more than we have is because now we have a new baby. So not only have we been purchasing extra medical stuff, um, all, like especially the gas money and stuff to go down to the hospital, but also food, right? So I don't take into consideration the baby food. So he is on solids. He's not even six months yet, but our baby has cystic fibrosis and he cannot gain weight very easy. So he's on enzymes, but he's still not gaining weight according to what we need them, like need him to. So I've been giving him a lot more breast milk, a lot more formula. And you guys, formula is expensive. Um, I would feed him more breast milk, but he's been starting to bite and I haven't been able to produce that much. So formula is higher. It's $55 for a case, which lasts about a week. It's super expensive. And then also he's on solids and I spend about $50 on solids every week for him as well. So we've been definitely struggling. Um, it's not a case of us going shopping. I think we almost had like a no spend last week on like um, extra stuff. It was just like necessities. So yeah, it's been, it's been rough. Fun and recreation seven stayed the same. We continue going sun swimming on Sunday, except last Sunday we didn't because my, um, father-in-law fixed our garage. I had to like lift it by hand in order to get out of the garage and in. And the only reason I'm keeping my Jeep in the garage is because my Jeep is a target. It's been broken into in our back alley four or five times, um, over the course of the last few years. So I keep it in the garage where it's out of sight, out of mind, but because the garage door is broken, I have to like lift it up and pull it down manually. So now it's fixed. So we'll continue going swimming on Sunday. And also we've been having regular karaoke dates. Um, I went by myself last time and at this Friday, my husband's still working night shift. So I'll be going by myself again. Okay, health and wellness, uh, four. It's mostly, mostly the sleep. I'm just not getting enough sleep. 
um, I've been trying, like last week I did, I had severe wrist pain. Um, I think it's because of the garage door and just like using my hands so much. I've got a lot of um, arthritis in my hands. Um, but I have been taking my meds on time and I had been drinking more water, except this week I've been back down again. But I have been taking my meds because I've been tracking everything. Okay, home and spaces. So previous six, now it's six and seven. So um, basically it's because I've been going through all of the things and I've been doing the Swedish death cleaning method. So I've been I'm getting rid of the stuff as soon as Logan, my baby, wears out of something, like as soon as it becomes too small, it's gone. Like I'm not holding on to stuff anymore. I'm not keeping it. Even like the baby toys, like the kids toys, everything. I'm not holding on to stuff. I've gone through all of my things and I've done such a good job. Um, and so we just have to work on a couple more areas. Like the basement still needs to be done again. Um, the landing, stuff like that. Spiritual personal growth. I forgot to mark it down here and I'm not sure why. Um, so journaling is good. I've been doing my journaling. So I've been journaling every day. I've been doing my morning journaling as well as my Hobonichi during the evening. And I've been finding that so relaxing for me. Um, I love sitting down. I, I put stickers in there. I usually do stickers like on an entire spread. Um, one day and then i'll journal on the left side and then the next day i'll have i'll already have it stickered and then i'll do journaling on that side and it's been really working um it just makes me feel so good i use fountain pen ink my fountain pens and my stickers and it's just it's such a relaxing thing i love it um tarot and oracle i have been really looking forward to my readings you guys they have been eerily cannily like correct and like even this week's, I had chills when I did my own tarot reading. I literally give myself chills when I touch my cards. I don't know what it is, but I'm either getting better at doing the readings, but I swear, like I, I'm loving my tarot and oracle stuff right now. So I do have this book called Tarot for Transformation and I want to do more. So it's about journaling and stuff. Um, and I've got astrology that I've been journaling in. I just haven't had time. The same thing with my human design. So I'm learning about human design. Uh, I got that from Marsha from Buy, Sell, Plan. And I love it. I think it's so interesting. But I just haven't had time to sit down and make, like read and take some notes. Okay, last one, work and learning. So previous was an eight. Now it's five or six. So I'm getting discouraged. Um, I do want to do more in my commonplace book. And I think there's a couple of podcasts I want to listen to. Um, if I have a podcast, I can start like making notes easier, I think. Um, I haven't listened to any podcasts. Like, podcasts have been around for such a long time and I just haven't done anything. Um, but I need to start making time for these two things because this is what's going to make me feel better, I think. Um, the learning, right? The tarot for transformation, the journaling, the human design, um, the commonplace book. So I want to make some notes in there and um, anything inspirational that I come across, I write it in there. And then I use it for blog inspiration. So I write about ideas like that and then my, my take, my opinion on stuff. So I really need to do more of that. Um, but the reason why I, I marked it so low is because I feel like I'm getting discouraged this time of year in an online business, specifically YouTube, um, anything on Etsy. It's summertime. Not many people are staying inside and watching YouTube videos, right? So Things have kind of gone downhill in that in that regard, where as in the winter months or heading into winter, that's your busy time. So especially with planner stuff um, for affiliate marketing, if you sell planner stuff, it picks up towards October, November, December, because people are gearing up to make their new planners. They buy their power sheets, right? So of course, I kind of expect this time to be less busy, but it is discouraging because I want to be able to to do more and to make more and just commit to like you know to more like I've been putting I feel like I've been putting so much effort in with my videos and um the things I've been doing and it just I feel like I'm not getting the same effort back but I'm gonna keep at it that's the key okay so keep moving forward um where have I seen the most growth so the journaling the self-improvement personal growth uh, managing work family balance I think I've been doing a good job there have been times I've broken down and cried um, but I mean, it, it, it is what it is, right? I've got a newborn at home. Um, health, the intention to work out water and meds, good. So yes, I got an app called Better Me and I want to do wall Pilates at home. And I've got the intention. I bought the yoga mat. I just have to do that too. So that's another thing I want to integrate into my life. Okay, what you need more nourishing? 
So paying back debt, saving more money, cutting back on food spending is a big one. Um, I feel like I do everything and I don't get help. It's true. I do do everything and I don't really get the help I need. Uh, we're in a situation right now because Chad's working night shift. When he's working day shift, I feel like it's easier, especially at nighttime with the kids. Um, but we're sacrificing right now. Okay, fun and recreation. Um, Want to do more fun and recreation stuff. We don't have anything planned for the summer because Chad needs to work. And we don't really have a lot of money to do anything except maybe go to K-Days. Okay, and then keep in touch with my friend. Okay, so for my refresh goals for the quarter, I'm focusing only on the next 12 weeks, okay? I did not do it like I did previously. I don't even remember what I had set up for April, to be honest. Um, let's see. So I think I really stuck to like my main goals that I did at the beginning of my planner, but now I'm changing it a little bit. So Okay, I said here, build up clothing budget and $200 in school fees. I have $200 for school supplies, but I forgot about the fees. So maybe I should continue budgeting for that. But now that our property taxes will be paid, maybe I'll focus on other things. Um, and then build up clothing budget. So I want to get prepared and ready for school um, for September. Okay, we're going to do our flooring in the bedroom over the summer months. So this is, again, July, August, September. So we want to finish that. We're going to continue with our Swedish Chef cleaning and get that basement done. King on Swedish Chef cleaning, just like getting rid of stuff as we're done with it. Um, sweep the garage and vacuum my Jeep again. I have already cleaned the Jeep and I've already cleaned the garage, but I just want to maintain it so it's not as dirty. And since my husband and his dad um, put in a new motor in the garage so our door wouldn't open, um, there's a little bit more dirt on the floor. So I want to clean that up. So workout and track the workouts. I want to do that with my Franklin Covey um, workout pages. I really want to do this, guys. Like, I just want to do it. And I just haven't had time. And I'm like, it's easy to put it off. And they're like, yeah, I don't have time. Yeah, I don't have time. So I want to start on that. I just don't know how to start, if you know what I mean. Where I start, it's like my water. I start, I do good for a week, and then I stop. Like, what is it? Like, I need to get into the habit of doing it. Um, personal growth, so tarot for transformation. So that is learning more about myself um, through tarot cards and doing all that journaling. Also, personal growth is um, learning about human design and how it applies to me. I really want to do these. So like these, they're like epic. I want to do that so bad. It's just the things I want to do and things I find that I never have time for. So I get to the end of the day, like last night, it was like nine o'clock and I'm like, okay, do I have enough energy to film this video, the one I'm filming now? I was like, do I have enough energy? to do that and some human design or do I want to finally relax read my book and have a snack and then go to bed oh I had a shower too and the snack and shower and bedtime went over <laughs> okay um family time so work during the morning so I really want to start you know getting up early doing the work before the kids get up um, and then outside time and read outside. I really want to do some reading outside. I haven't done that in like a long time. I think for the last two years, because last year I didn't do any either. So I really want to. I'm just, I'm missing it so much. And um, work during morning. It's going to be interesting to see how things change once um, my son has done school. So he's done school um, on Tuesday of the next week. So the end of the end of June, he'll be done. So I don't know how it's going to look like if me getting up early, will I let myself sleep in, how I'm going to get my work done, that kind of thing. Okay, commonplace book, notes on the weekly videos, and our books and podcasts. So that kind of ties into like this stuff here. Um, and then getting more sleep. So either bed earlier or sleep in more. So it's like, I give or take, I can never seem to go to bed early. I always get to bed 11 or later. Or do I just let myself sleep in in the morning? And that seems the most likely case because I get up at five. Do I let myself sleep in till like seven every day? Maybe. I don't know. But yeah, summer hours definitely going to change everything. All right. So those are my goals. So we're going to see how we do in the next three months on these. But that's definitely what I want to focus on. And of course, sun, when we get to September, things will change again because it's back to school. So it'll be a regular routine again. Um, it is a quarter, so it's not like just, you know, uh, um, July, August. But July, August are going to be a little bit more relaxed. So I'm planning on doing a lot more journaling. Um, definitely that reading outside. 
and watching, you know, podcasts or listening to podcasts and watching other videos and stuff. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the quarter goals. But I think what we'll do, um, I'll, I'm going to talk about my my goal inserts from Cloth and Paper that are in my Franklin Planner. But we're going to go through July 1st and then we'll come back to um, to my Cloth and Paper inserts. So here's what my calendar looks like for July, guys. So last day of school is June 27th. First day of summer holidays is on the 28th. Um, we do have um, July Canada Day. So I know anyone in the States that are watching this, um, you guys celebrate Independence Day on the 4th. But we have Canada Day on the 1st. And um, we get my husband. I need to find out. I have asked him, but he hasn't asked his boss yet whether he gets a stat day on the Friday before, because we are planning on going to Red Deer if he has a stat. Okay, so I have a six month appointment for Logan on July 6th, and I also have a doctor's appointment for myself. So technically, it's like my yearly checkup medical, but I've already had all that stuff done when I had my baby. Um, so I've got other stuff I want to talk to her about there. Okay, the 13th is my son's grandpa's birthday, the 14th, <laughs> Logan's six-month immunizations, and then he'll jump right up to one year, so he'll be done all those immunizations. Um, my husband's sister's birthday is on the 15th, and then we have a big family get-together at um, my husband's auntie's farm, so they're all huge Ukrainians, and they bought a lot of land when they were young, um, when they first moved to Canada, and... Um, she has a big farm and she has like little animals. So I think the kids are going to have a good time then. Um, K-Days start on the 21st and that's all I have on here. So we are going to go to K-Days. I have enough money saved. It's for like vacation. So I want to use that. I'm going to try to go twice. So one time I'll take the kids, um, like not, not our baby, but our kids like um, Danica and Connor to go on rides and stuff and to like get the junk food and to play the games and then the next time I want to go with Chad I'm not sure what day will go with, with which show that they have like they've got music shows but I want to go and I want to go to the beer gardens and I want to you know just do stuff that we would do so we don't we never go on rides but we walk around the um uh like they've got like um a building there and they've got trade show stuff set up so I want to go in there and I want to um you know, go have cotton candy or whatever, whatever it is. So I want to have a kid's day and then I want to have an adult day. Okay. And that's it for July. So I guess that's technically another goal, but I just didn't have room for it on my main goals. Um, okay. So important to do is we'd already discussed Red Deer, the birthdays, um, K-Day's plan, appointments. Um, I'm excited for K-Day's to go with Chad because we haven't done that in like four years with just him and me so I'm really I really want to do that um kids for a kitty trip red deer for Canada day and then summer reading in the sun I really want to do that okay on my mind yes we got it fixed you guys I'm so excited it's fixed yay I'm getting more sleep doctor issues so my appointment I want to write down all the things I want to talk to her about um paying off debt is a big one um, scheduling work and not feeling overwhelmed. I have been feeling overwhelmed and I don't think that's going to change until my husband is done with this night shift business because it is what it is. It's been rough. Like, I'm not going to lie. It's been really rough. Um, I'm hopeful that we can go to KDS twice and then also go into the breweries in Red Deer and then the Legion on Saturday. That's the thing that my kids really like. Okay. I'm saying no to freaking out over the kids' freakouts. <laughs> because guess what guys there's a lot of them <laughs> like a lot and it's so easy to lose patience and to freak out and I'm really trying to have patience I really am um but you know when you're stressed and when you're tired and you're doing all the things and you know it's just really hard to keep that patience and to not get upset or angry when they're also freaking out because I mean, we're already upset over our baby Logan. He's got CF, right? And then my older son has ADHD. And so a lot of the things that we have to do with him, it's hard to manage. Like routines are key. And summer holidays is just forget routines in with the summer holidays. So it's going to be a work in progress. Um, I'm saying yes to chilling outside in the sun, spending more time with the kids and more karaoke. We'll see how that how that works in because my mom's been the only babysitter that I trust right now. So we'll see how that goes. 
Okay, so moving on. Um, I don't want really to talk about this because this is like my brainstorming page. I write everything here. So there's a lot of ideas I don't even get to on this page. But for the most part, I think I pick the most important ones. So again, a lot of these I have combined just to make more room. And I've still kind of gone over with the weekly and the monthly. So I've got basement organization. So this is going to include the landing that I still want to work on. It includes my husband's out of the basement. And it also includes me getting rid of the paperwork. So like every January, I go through my filing cabinet and I get rid of old bills, old things I don't need anymore. Um, and I don't really think about it. Like I don't keep the things that are like, they're important to keep, but you know, they're no longer valid for that year. So I end up putting them in a box, but now I have to go through the boxes to make sure I'm not throwing out any information that I have to keep for sure. So um, I think going forward, I'll just get rid of the bills like right at the beginning, like and not bother putting them in a box because um, it would just be tax information. Like I keep that already in my filing cabinet for seven years, so I don't need to keep like the older ones. But I want to be more proactive and just like just keep the necessary stuff and get rid of everything else. And then instead of putting it in my basement, just get rid of it right then and there because then I don't have to go through stuff. It also includes going through my Rubbermaid containers again to see if I can downsize again by 50% um, and relabeling all my boxes down there. Okay. Um, also, it probably includes listing all my stuff I want to sell on Facebook buy and sell. So I do have that as a goal for this week, but I don't know if I'll get to it. We'll see. Okay. Appointments. I've got two so far this month doing the bedroom flooring. I don't know if we'll get to it in July. I hope that we do. Um, but it does take a little bit of time to get into it, to build up all of the, I guess, the motivation to do it. Like it's a lot of work, um, but we'd have to pick a day that isn't raining, probably get my mom to babysit again. So it's going to be a little rough. Okay. Um, June budget recap and then August budget. So I still do my budget recaps, even though I no longer film them because it's beneficial for us to see. My August goals, a content plan. I usually put the content planning with the budget, but it worked out better this way. Birthdays, we've got two this month. July fun. Um, and I've just put brackets, key days in case for something else. So I put two spots for key days. And then in case we go camping, my, um, my in-laws are going to go camping and they have a big trailer. So what they're going to do is invite everybody to come out, um, even if it's for like you know, a day or a night or something. And then we go out there and have one or two nights and then come back home. We'll see how it works with the baby though. I don't know if we'll get to that. Okay. We also have July 15th at the farm. It's like the farm day, which happens to be my husband's sister's birthday. Um, we garden clean up yards. I put that all in one monthly planner setups. I've got my compact now and my classic and analytics for June. So I have stats, financials, and analytics. And stats are like just my numbers for my website, for my blog, um, uh, and I guess like final numbers for my financials. Financials are like everything. Um, I use Wave, which is a, a free um, kind of accounting program. It works really awesome, actually. And I have everything attached to my business accounts. And then the last one is analytics. So that's where I analyze my, both my YouTube channels. I have this one, and then I also have my makeup channel, which is Sandra Doll Beauty. And I go in, I look at the stats, see where I'm sitting, um, see what new videos I could make that would be also popular according to what I've like researched. So it takes a little bit of time to do all that stuff. Um, and I always do that on the first of the month. So for weekly, I've got uh, my budget and my commonplace book. I put those on the same one like per week. So I want to do but commonplace book every week. Organize, minimize. I want to do that at least one project every week or two every week. Blog and sticker design. Um, so if I do my blog, not my stickers, I would only check off half the box. Fertilize plants every week. Plan with me and meal plan. Personal growth journal. So again, that includes the tarot for transformation and human design and regular journaling, I guess. And then weekly update. Those are my weekly update videos. I just want to mark off that I've been doing them. And then for daily habits and daily action items, um, workout, which I really want to start doing. I was supposed to start doing the beginning of June and I just didn't do it. Reading outside, journaling, expenses, percussions for my son, 10 minute tidy, wellness planner check-in and water plants. 
Okay, so I think I've included all the things. I mean, that's a lot. It's a lot to tackle, right? Um, some people don't fin fill up the whole area. And just because you see mine, don't feel pressure to do that. If you don't have as much as me, that's okay. You don't have to. I just have a lot on my plate right now and a lot going on. So these are all the things I need to look at and to do. Um, but sometimes it is a lot. And I, I pressure myself to such a high degree um, to get this stuff done. But in the end, I could feel good once I've, you know, if I've accomplished it, I feel really good about it. So, um, and the, and the thing is my motto, like this might be the wrong, the wrong thing to the wrong way to look at it. Um, because I think cultivate what matters comes from like no pressure, like don't push yourself too much. Just do the things you have to do, especially since COVID, right? Um, like, you know, be motivated, but like progress, not perfection type thing. Whereas me, if I don't write down, like, say I, I, have like my basic goals. If I don't aim higher, I'll never achieve higher. If you know what I mean, like if that makes sense, because like in order to do those things, I need to write it down and I need to see it on paper and then I need to check it off because that's what motivates me to do the things. So I always am an overachiever, a higher achiever, because I'll never get anywhere. I'll be stagnant and I won't, I'll just do the basic things. So I write it all down because then I, I'm like, oh yeah. And then if I make myself feel guilty about not doing it, so I push myself into doing it. Oh, well, right. I, that's my method and it works for me. Okay. So now we're going to look at oops, a quick glance at my cloth and paper inserts. So I have a goals tab and um, my planner is going to be changing guys. And I think this video Actually, this video is posting before my planner change because I'm doing it a little bit later. Um, it's going to be interesting because I'm changing my planner up drastically. It's going to be, oh, I'm, I'm excited. Okay, so here's what we're looking at. This is a little bit different than what I have written on my Cultivate What Matters Power Sheets. Okay, so I've got a to-do section. I've got a note section. I've got all of July, August, September. So this kind of breaks it down into your quarter right so for all three months but then you can break it down into the individual months so bedroom floor over the course of the summer um transfer doctor notes to july so that's just a reminder for me because um, i've got my doctor notes on my the on two page planner pages um for june so i just need to transfer that to my new july inserts um, reassess sinking funds budget. So that's something that I didn't add in my other goals. Um, and I need to just, I need to, to write that down because, um, I just want to reassess where everything is. So maybe increasing the, um, the school budget for the school fees, because we need $200, um, coming down for the property tax, because we'll be paying it. Okay. Um, basement landing. That's part of the whole basement thing. Chat side basement, same thing. Relabel con, um, con, contents or containers. That's what it is. Relabel containers and then go through them. And then vacuum, Jeep, and sweep um, garage. Okay, so notes, reading on my son, more sleep, work out with the Better app, Tarot for Transformation, HD workbook, commonplace book, podcast, August to summer routine. Oh, adjust. Wow, I can't read my own writing, guys. Adjust to summer routine swimming on Sundays, and date night karaoke every second Friday, okay? As for July, I've got all of my dates here highlighted. So the first, the first to the, well, the 30th to the second, I guess, Red Deer Trip. The sixth is my doctor's appointment for Logan and myself. The 14th is his immunizations. The 13th and 15th are birthdays, um, farm day on the 15th. Katie's trip, one adult, one kid. Cut back on food spending. Designate tasks, so... Um, even if it's simply my mom, I'm going to get her to come over. She, she even said, we had this discussion already. She's like, I'm going to see if I can come over one or two days a week when I'm not like working, when it's not my busy week and help you clean the house and help you do stuff. So that'll be nice. Um, trust a get together. So I need to talk to her. We need to talk first and then we need to get together. Um, bedroom floor. So I'm going to write this whole project up. Um, just to get prepared. So when we were doing the rest of the floor upstairs, we did the kids' rooms, we did the hallway. Um, we were kind of in a, 
you know, like when you, when you're in a project, you kind of remember what to do. We have waited on this project for our room for the last two years because we just never had time. And, um, we might need to buy the underlay for the flooring again. I don't know if we have any left and I need to book a date for somebody to watch the kids while we do that. So we'll still be here. So that's the good thing. Okay. And then, um, today is the 20th of June. So I did not write any books down here. So the two books I'm thinking of getting, I'll see if I can link them down below for you guys. It's the city of mirrors by Justin Cronin. So it's, um, a book three of the passage trilogy. Um, it's a trilogy. It's three books. I've already read the first two and it's called the passage. Um, but the last book in that series is the city of mirrors. I want to get that. And then the other one is only a two book series. And the first book in that is called the priory of the orange tree by Samantha Shannon. So I want to get that one too. Um, so those might go in here, but I also have two books um, waiting still for the third to be released. It'll be released in the summer. It's called the um, inheritance games. So I'll link all those books for you guys in case you want to check them out, but and I'll also link the human design and the tarot for transformation. Um, but yeah, so that's it for my goals. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sometimes what I do is I put this goal stuff um, on my my planner, like when I do the monthly planner setup for Franklin, my classic. And I'm glad I didn't because the last time I did, it made the video an hour and a half. And I think it's way too long for people. So um, I'd rather have it broke down. This one's only 36 minutes so far. So that's not as bad. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about everything in this video. So what I'll do when I do that video and I talk about my goals for, you know, August or July, whatever I'm doing it for, I'm going to refer back to this video so that they can watch or whoever watches that video can watch this one if they want to as well. So, all right, but that is it for my goals, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your continued support um, and watching my videos and just your comments, everything, like all the things. <laughs> um, wish me luck for this month because it's going to be um, probably a pretty busy month. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end of this video. If you are new, please subscribe. I would love to have you join my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And last, click on the bell button to receive notifications when I upload new content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.